Around the world, Christian women and girls are being kidnapped and forced to abandon their faith before being sexually abused, often under the outward show of marriage. Aid to the Church in Needs, Hear Her Cries report, reveals a catalogue of horrors suffered by women who are vulnerable, both because of their sex and because of their faith. Victims often remain silent, fearing social shame or threats from their abductors. In other cases, authorities, including police, enforce silence. In Pakistan, Christians could comprise up to 70% of minority faith girls and women forcibly converted and married every year. And in Nigeria, Christians could make up to 95% of women and girls being held by extremists. In conflict situations, such as the Islamist insurgencies in the Middle East and parts of Africa, minority women suffer higher rates of sexual exploitation. The attacks on Christian women in countries like Mozambique, Nigeria, Iraq and Syria can be regarded as genocidal. These are designed to destroy the local Christian community. Similar motives apparently underlie cases of kidnapping in Egypt. A former kidnapper said girls are groomed or abducted and passed to hardline Salafist groups who force them to convert. And, as Aid to the Church in Needs, Hear Her Cries report illustrates, each of these tragedies has a human face. Myra was walking near her home in Medina town, Pakistan, when she was dragged into a car. Her abductors raped her recording the incident on video and blackmailed her into signing papers saying she had converted to Islam and married her abductor. Myra managed to escape, but her abductor and his supporters called on her to be killed for apostasy. After being seized in northeast Nigeria, Rebecca was forced to marry a Boko Haram fighter. She was beaten ruthlessly for refusing to sleep with him, flogged with 98 strokes every day, made to dig a hole for three weeks and interred in a pit for four days. He finally forced himself upon her, but she managed to escape, walking over three weeks to find freedom. Today, Rebecca is being supported by the church in a project backed by Aid to the Church in Need. And these are not isolated examples. We need to act for the sake of girls and women like Myra and Rebecca. We need to help those persecuted for their faith and sexually targeted because of their gender. We need to champion their cause. We need to hear their cries.